Hello and nice to see you. In our previous lecture, we discovered possible unison and active doublings, and prepared them as a MIDI sketch. Now is the time to make some orchestral devices using this sketch. It should be noted that orchestral devices can be used in various types of textures, like monophonic, homophonic, polyphonic, and so on. Let's start with the monophonic texture. Monophonic means single-voiced. This texture lies in the fact that the melodic line is performed by different orchestral instruments in unison or active doubling without any harmonic or polyphonic background and pitched percussion. Let's make the first orchestral device. As you can see, there are a lot of instruments and combinations. You can select any one you want. For instance, you can get more than 100 devices, if choose just a combination of the flute with the different instruments. Five unison devices are played at the same register. Flute and oboe, flute and clarinet, flute and trumpet, flute and violins, flute and violas. There are seven possible active doublings of the flute with different instruments. Flute and the piccolo. Piccolo sounds an octave higher than rhythm, even in C score. Flute and English horn. Flute and clarinet. Flute and French horn. Flute and trumpet. Flute and violins. Flute and violas. As we observed, I have used just unison and active doublings. I can make a lot of devices using different registers and instruments, like this flute, English horn, violas, flute, clarinet, oboe, violins, and etc. Hence, I'm going to make just tutti devices. The Italian word tutti refers to the simultaneous use of mass or all orchestral instruments. There are two kinds of tutti sections. First, the partial tutti, using only some of the instruments at hand. And second, the full tutti, using every or almost every orchestral instruments simultaneously. Before starting to make devices, let's discover the balance. This is obvious that a perfect balance is not always possible. Because a balanced orchestration depends on the attitude of the conductor who will direct it, and at the same time on the feeling of the performance. You can listen to the same piece in different orchestras with a different balance. The perfect balance depends on what you want to present in the score. If the lead oboe plays a melody on mezzo forte, and the strings play a sustained chord on piano, that means the melodic line is essential one. Sometimes the harmonic line is performed one dynamic less than the melody. This means that the harmonic line is also enhanced to make the melodic line more dramatic. As you can see, both options are correct. Depending on the intention and desire of the composer, a different balance can be established. Accordingly, it is not possible to approach one aspect by consulting on balance. A very interesting point is that long notes can overpower short notes. As you can see, it is impossible to get a specific balance formula. Therefore, we can get only roughly balanced orchestration. This chart is an excerpt from the Principles of Orchestration book by Rimsky-Korsakov. To first calculate, I will use the balance ratios of each section or instrument, which is based on this chart. Considering the registers, the ratio will be as follows. One winwind instrument is equal to one. One department of the string section will be indicated with two. One French horn is also equal to two. One trumpet will be indicated with four. 
I want to remind you that this calculation doesn't aim to get a perfect balance between registers. On the contrary, the presented calculation model will help you to hear which instruments or registers are strong or weak before their live performance. I will explain this during the lesson. Let's make the first orchestral device within the woodwind section. If you look at the sketch, you can see that woodwinds are possible in four different registers. B6, B5, B4 and B3. I'm going to use all of this. Regardless of the dynamic, soft or strong, all woodwind instruments are equal to each other if the instruments are in their strong register. The piccolo starts the melody from the B6. Two flutes and two oboes start the melody at B5. The English horn takes the B4. The clarinet can play the melody in both B5 and B4. Since the B5 register is already used by two flutes and two oboes, it would be better to use the clarinets below them to get a balance between registers. The B3 will be played by two bassoons. So, the balance of the registers will be as follow. 1, 4, 3, and 2. There is only one piccolo here. However, this is not a problem since the piccolo is in its strong register and will shine even without doubling. The B5 register is most strong as it's played by four instruments. You can reduce this register by using a single oboe or a flute instead of a 2 But this is not necessary to do it. I want to explain this slur as it doesn't have the same meaning on all instruments. Generally, a slur is a mark indicating that two or more notes are to be played without separation. The slur marking in both string instruments, like the violin, viola, cello and contrabass, means that the notes should be played in one bow stroke. So, the player changed notes with his left hand, but his right hand doesn't change direction. In this example, the D and the E should be played with one bow stroke. No matter, it can be down or up bow. The next three notes should start with the next bow stroke. In wind instruments, regardless of the brass or woodwind, Slurred notes should be played in one pressing and without re-articulating each note. In this example, the D and the E should be played with one pressing, while the next three notes with another pressing. Let's move on to the next device. The B3 is also can be reinforced by a single horn. As you know, in soft dynamics, all wind instruments are equal to each other. However, as strong dynamics, the French horn is twice as strong as the woodwind instrument. So, one horn is equal to two woodwind instruments. Considering this, it will be enough to double the bassoon's part with a single horn. The horn should be counted with two as it is equal to two woodwinds. Now the power of the B3 register will be 4.
Of course, other Woodwind devices also can be made as you want. Now, let's make the monophonic texture for the brass instrument. If you look at the sketch, you can see that brass instruments are possible in three different registers. B5, B4, and B3. Let's arrange the brass according to these registers. At soft and medium dynamics, all brass instruments are equal to each other. This means that each brass instrument can be assigned a separate pitch depending on the register placement. For example, if the dynamic is mezzo piano, one trumpet is equal to one horn. However, when the dynamic is louder than mezzo forte, it is advisable to double the horns, which, when played in unison, will roughly equal the sound of other brass instruments. This is due to the weakness of the horn. For example, if one trumpet is at forte, two horns should be used to maintain the balance. I'm going to make a strong and a thick tumor within the brass section. Therefore, I will use all instruments. As you can see, only the trumpet can play the melody which starts from B5. The first trumpet will play the upper octave. Since this instrument is in the strong register, it will sound powerful. That's why it can be used alone. In addition, because of their high frequencies, the top instruments always shine in the orchestra even without unison doubling. Hence, its register score should be marked with 4. As I mentioned, I want to make a strong and thick timbre in the following device. So I have to double either B5 or B4, as I have two free trumpets. So the question is, which register to double in unison? As you can see, the melody starting with B4 is placed in the second register of the trumpet. This register has medium power and is not as strong as the third register. We can maintain the balance between two registers by assigning the lower melody to two trumpets. It is not necessary to do this, but I want to strengthen the weak register against the strong one. Thus, this register can be indicated with the number 4 since it has gained power. What about the horns? As you can see, horns can play in both B4 and B3 registers. Consider making the device in three registers, we should start making the B3 first. So the question is, how many instruments should be involved? As you know, two horns can be used to maintain the balance against one trumpet. This means that B3 must be played with at least two horns in unison. What about the other horns? As you observed, the melody is placed between first and second registers of the horn. This range of the horn is not strong as the second and the third registers. In addition, considering the medium register of the trumpet has been doubled by two trumpets, the horn pass also can be reinforced against them. So, the B5 is in the strong register of the first trumpet. This register has been marked with 4. The B4 is played by two trumpets in their medium power. Both trumpets are roughly equal to the first trumpet. Considering that four French horns with their medium power are equal to the medium power of two trumpets, estimating the count of the horns will be 4. Thus, we get a roughly balanced device due to the doubled instruments. 
all registers will sound clear and powerful. You can make a new device using this kind of calculation. This calculation system simply notifies you in advance which registers or sections will sound stronger. Stay safe. Goodbye.